<laughs> all right, before we get started, it is required that we all put on our bad boy boots and our bad boy socks. So, Henry's got his on, I've got mine on, and it's time to get to work. So, uh, what I ended up uh, figuring is what I'm going to do is I have to figure out um, what I can use that will be fixed at one end and adjustable at the other. And I figured a piece of all thread would be perfect. So I'm gonna cut this in half. Um, I'm going to use this for the rear. I'm gonna weld these two nuts in place, weld this washer and this small little A-frame with this bushing, the steel bushing. And that way this will spin freely within this little setup I have. I'm gonna have um, another bushing with a through bolt and um, I will have a bolt welded to that bushing obviously threaded through here and then i will have another bolt welded at the end to use uh, i can ratchet and then i can thread this up and down this bushing with a three bolt Ooh! so this is mounted to the frame the frame mount and this is mounted to the trailing arm right so a through bolt trailing arm i think you guys get the idea so let's get to work Sorry. All right, that's it. You see that? Did you get to see it? Yeah. Was it bright? It's all green. It's all green? Yeah. yeah. All right, so here is the finished product. There's the post. It goes through the top of the uh, spring perch. And then here is the um, connection at the bottom of the lower control arm. And then that lower nut is welded on and I'll be able to adjust these up and down by just turning that because that nut is welded on and will spin freely and that washer, you know, will act as a buffer against the spring perch. So nothing complex, right? But it's kind of, you gotta improvise and figure this stuff out when you wanna dial things in, I guess. Um, anyways, let's work on the rears. I'll get these in and, and then work on the rear. <clears throat> All right, so I've got no uh, shocks on the car. Suspension's installed. Uh, the wheels are almost exactly the same height and offset that I'll be buying for the final product. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to set up my ride height based on some information I got from... Uh, from a couple people, one specifically, and uh, measuring from the front bolt, the lower control arm, uh, to the ground, which is what I have. Uh, I'm using this level, obviously, for to represent the, the ground. I'm supposed to have seven and a quarter. So I'm pretty much there, right? At least on this side. And um, this is just basically rough rough ride height so just give you guys an idea of how i'm setting it up yes sir Are you not my tape measure? well i got one out here for you buddy come on out so anyways that's it uh let's uh, get to fabricating uh these fixtures Well, folks, at first it looked like this was going to work, right? And then that happened. Okay. So note to self, half inch all thread will not hold the weight. 
of the front end of this car, at least the right front or left front. Anyways, yeah, with uh, dry train and whatnot, like that's, I'm gonna have to do something a little different. But I think the idea is good. I just don't think the material is gonna hold up. So anyways, back to the drawing board. All right, well, <laughs> hopefully this is a little bit tougher. Um, this is, I think, what is this? This is the next size up. I'm not great at remembering all these, these uh, sizes, even though it's standard, it should be pretty simple. Um, so maybe the stuff I was using was 7 16 and then this is like 9 16 So it's definitely healthier. And then I welded on these, uh, this angle and uh, hopefully that does the trick. So let's get it on the car and see how it goes. Okay, here is the finished product. Essentially doing my very best to get this thing as square and, uh, and set up as possible before I start cutting the body apart. So you can see the fixtures behind. I just welded up some spacers to a nut on a piece of half inch all thread, or I think that's 9 16 And then a piece of angle welded up for structure and then another little um, spacer up there. So um, everything's been measured out to the best of my ability and uh, as good as it's gonna get, um, considering I'm dealing with a frame that's it's just not 100%. So, um, can't really complain. I'll just have to do my best and, and keep these fenders squared up as I start to cut this thing apart, so. All right, well, that's it. All the fixtures in place. I got my ride height set. Uh, there's some differences. I'm gonna try to document where they're at on the car as far as height. Everything's similar. Ride height's pretty similar. I got like two, two and a half, roughly, front and rear. Uh, clearance on the tire. Fender's gonna change, obviously. But uh, I'm about ready to rock and roll. So um, stay tuned for next week. I'm going to look at a 67 Firebird, manual Firebird for my dad. It's supposed to be an all original car or close to. He doesn't need much. He just wants a four speed classic car he can go ripping around in. So uh, stay tuned. I'll take you along with me on that. And hopefully we can pick up another hot rod and uh, get it going for my old man. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.